Pippi's. Today I'm in Tokyo. Can you believe this? Oh my god, it's been six years since I've last been here and this will be my seventh time in Japan so I'm so 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 excited. I'm starting with one full week of having my pop-up store in Shinjuku Maruya next. I will make a separate video for the pop-up store, for Lolita shopping, for Sanrio stuff like Puro Land and everything. And there will be a full playlist of all the videos that I'm doing in Japan in the description or at the end of this video so check it out. Today we are setting up at about 8 p.m. but we'll start with the Hanami fashion picnic so I'm going to meet up with other people that are wearing Harajuku fashion somewhere in the park but look at this Hanami is looking at the sakuras and they have not been blooming yet in Tokyo I thought that because of my dates I will miss them but apparently they're not in bloom yet so we will not see cute cherry blossoms unfortunately so I will celebrate Hanami again with my boyfriend later when he comes but let's meet other cool people and I'll probably do a shoot with all the cool fashion that I meet here so let's go are you ready for this big trip this is your yogi park on a Sunday and it's today 24 degrees which is insanely hot for spring and you can see that it's full all around a lot of people are come to just do a picnic. This is the thing that you should not do. Go to Yoyogi or uh, Harajuku in a weekend because this is where everybody else is. This is crazy. Something that I'm shocked to see is that for a while the bridge at uh, the Harajuku station was where all the Lolitas were and it's been like at least 10 days, uh, 10 years or more that they were not there anymore but I was so happy to see that uh, the spot where all the rockabilly people were still the same spot like 10 20 years after this is really amazing and also I was able to experience the ugly new station of Harajuku unfortunately so I missed the old one that was super cute unfortunately because I have a dango herpes so now we have the real one yay this is Monday after the pop-up. We're here at Mosca by Ginger Garden. It's gorgeous and it's raining outside and tomorrow is going to be so much rain and apparently maybe the sakura might not survive. So we have the fake ones here and we are going to celebrate here the pop-up and just relax this morning. I slept first nicely until 9 and then I filmed videos and then later we'll go to Harajuku so this is the chill day and this is going to be a super fancy tea party now so exciting I just went to close a child for the second time the one in Harajuku and I did not leave empty handed but no clothes though just accessories but I managed to lose Millie and it's her last day and she is apparently leaving so I need to find her Today we are at the Sanrio Character Garden Cafe and we are having breakfast slash lunch here and Florian had the black beef uh, rice thing and I had the croissant little twin star ones with egg salad and potato salad You can get friends with you if you're alone, that's so sweet Even though there was the big storm yesterday, the Sakura hold up, this is crazy and now this is so busy, so many people and it's a Wednesday so that's very interesting, we're here in Ueno this is still very beautiful Today we are in Ikebukuro in Sunshine City and there's many Pokemon stuff, super cute there's the Pokemon Center this uh, Pikachu suite and there was an access farm and I s uh, bought a super cute mint glitter blouse like cut so I'm so excited about this one of my favorite places in Tokyo was the Moro Ruminio set up around the Porikura on top of the Ichimaru Q Shibuya 109 and apparently they put it in the basement it's all lavender and only the Porikura boxes and not the gorgeous cake like before I'll try to find a photo of how it was before. I'm so sad! The sweet 
buffet from the Hilton Tokyo and this time it's a strawberry theme and it looks all pink and amazing I cannot wait to see this buffet we are only 10 minutes in advance and there was a big queue so I was wondering if we should have come a little bit before so that the buffet will still be super cute and not like we can still take nice pictures if we were from the few first people but we'll see so we took the soft drink free flow option and every time your drink is like this much they're like do you want more juice more soft drink whatever they just come to you and also there are some savory options that like a few things there was a small plate and now we went for the first round of one side of the buffet and we filled the whole plate with that and some are so big that we decided to share one with Florio but that's like 12 different cakes already and there's also some soup so after the first plate of cakes i'm already full this is crazy so i went to find the toilets to walk a bit to try and help me with digestion and apparently the second part of the buffet is smaller things like macarons and small things but at least five six or small stuff but definitely not as big as the cakes but i want to try everything and also we have a huge bowl of fresh strawberries on our table so the second buffet was still eight things so what i recommend is that if you're going with somebody take one of everything and split it in between two at least and then what you like you can go back for seconds because they keep putting more so don't worry you will not miss out on everything because we maybe split two things on the first buffet and it was not enough and i'm already full 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 but i want to try everything so yes i highly recommend splitting everything and uh, trying a little bit of everything first so i always wanted one of these and today i have the perfect dress so i got one of those giant, can you see how big it is? You probably cannot imagine how big it is. And I'm not even sure I will be able to finish it. And it's already falling apart, but it's amazing. The iconic place in Harajuku is definitely 6% Doki Doki. Let's go. The stuff was so cold, I really liked my cord, especially to print on the dress. And I bought something there. And also, I saw Indigo again that I just met at the Tokyo Fashion meeting point before so that was super fun so this is tuesday and i'm back in harajuku but i feel like i left you sunday and actually so i went to the market and then i went to buy the giant rainbow cotton candy and hang out with friends then i left them to actually go see tokyo fashion and try to get featured on their instagram but apparently they were not interesting they did not even talk to me so then i went back and went shopping and then i met up with vams again and this is when junyan from Harajuku Fashion Walk found me and asked me if he could take street snaps of me and I was so shocked because Tokyo Fashion was not interested but the OG street fashion photographer found me and asked me so I was so happy that I made my day so then we went to Sweet Paradise and that was the end of the day so I came to Shibuya to see the Sweet Hotel this one is a ruby and this one is a chocolate but it looks completely worn down so I'm not even sure this is the main entrance it looks it says in here but I'll go see around on both sides to see if there are better entrances because I might want to take a photo but this looks weird also it's so not well rated at first I wanted to go sleep there one night but actually I don't think it's a good idea but just admiring it from outside is cool so the other side is even more creepier i would say so it's not as good as i've seen in the photos it looks like they had a lot more of these cookies everywhere on the facade and now most of us is gone so this is really sad unfortunately so you can't even come to the cute pictures here it's really broken and just a back alley so today i'm with miranda and we're here in yokohama enjoying strawberries and sakura, sakura, sakura sour oh my god yes 
it's a little windy but look how gorgeous this place is and then we're going shopping and shopping. everything Lolita shopping of course there's a closet mm -hmm. right here I'm so looking forward so let's go so I'm here in Yokohama in the closet child and that's another closet child that I walk out without buying anything. This is crazy. And this one is actually quite big, but it's also very hard to find. They have a lot of cute AP stuff, but not my colors and not my size and things like that. So unfortunately I came out without a thing again. So instead we're going to go to Vivre and we're going to go check out EB and Baby yes. and Atelier Perot and maybe some other shops. Yes, the whole Let's go. floor. Let's go. This Borikura has a place where you can put the camera next to the actual camera of the Borikura. This is so much fun. Choose one eye makeup set you want to use. But, oh, you have this much to spend. So like if you want natural or dark. I'm going to do that one. Oh, I'll do that one with the powder. Okay. Oh, my bag. Okay, so yeah, you gotta pick which one you want to go there. I think. So, uh, I'm gonna take this one. I have my clothes on. Even though your eyes are closed, I like the way my head looks there. Like, wow. You can do what you want. It's so creepy. It's so creepy. No, it's cute. Uh, Poop, no, no, it's so creepy. Poopay. Poopay. This, this one, one is cute. That one is cute. My eyes are not too yeah, big, like but this, this is really freaky. Oh wait, no, it'll come to the thing. So you can make the eyes smaller, you can decorate, like change your hair a little bit. You have crazy eye in this one. This is crazy. <laughs> This morning I came back to enjoy breakfast slash lunch at the Cinema Roll Cafe. I've already filmed inside in another vlog. I'm not even sure where I put that, but the food was delicious. I might put just a few photos here and I made a short of just that. Now I'm going to go explore the store that I was working in one for one week, two weeks ago, because I did not film where to buy Lolita there. So I needed to go back. And I'm also going to do other shopping in Shinjuku. So let's do this. This is so funny. This is where we had our pop up, and now there's another brand. I was randomly walking in a Harajuku, and there was no line at the Pom Pom Pudding Cafe. So I went for a drink and just to film some aesthetic videos for my Sanrio channel. And I just forgot to film, but the place I was sitting in front of used to be the Sebastian Masuda Mochi Mochi clock, something like that, a while back. But it's like, I think that last time already was not there anymore, six years ago. So, but this was a cute window, I think. And now I'm going to check out the Design Festa Gallery and the building is mint and pink and probably also purple, but it's gorgeous. Oh my God. <laughs> See, they're all out being decora already. Today I'm doing the Harajuku fashion walk here in Harajuku. Oh my god, it's so exciting. This is the first time ever for me in Harajuku in 17 years, 18 years that I've been wearing Lolita. So, iconic moment coming up. So that concludes my three weeks in Japan in 2024. I was so excited to go there. I hope I can go back soon because I'm still in love with Tokyo and with Japan. So thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.